They don't want a black person in power. They don't want a woman in power. You don't you ain't seen that yet. And someone so young. I remember I told everybody when I first became supervisor here that the previous administration and some of them sitting in the crowd was still. Did they want to write that story? No, they did not. Because white is right. Mayor Tiffany Hanyard is losing it. We're going to check out two clips uh, posted just recently from the Lansing Journal showing that she's now trying to use race to divide and conquer. She's been doing this for a while, but now she's using race to try to survive politically. We're going to be talking about that. And the other clip talking about the podcast. I mean, what happened to the first episode that she took down? We'll talk about that as well. So this is from the Thornton Township meeting that was yesterday. And Tiffany A. Hanier was on her usual unhinged rants, really angry and upset because she knows that the walls are closing in. She knows that people are going to find out the truth. People are finding out all of the unethical and possibly illegal things that she got herself mixed up with. So let's check out the first video right now. I remember I told everybody when I first became supervisor here that the previous administration and some of them sitting in the crowd was still. Did they want to write that story? No, they did not. Because white is right. Y'all wanted to keep Whoa, 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 white is right. Okay, she's talking about the previous administration that was ran by Frank Zucanelli, who ran the, the township before he passed away and she became the supervisor. This is textbook deflection. Right now, that man can't even defend himself. He's not here. Second, what's going on thus far as you being the supervisor of the township and also being the mayor? This is textbook deflection, using race as a way to say, Look, the, the long history of obviously the, the racial issues that we deal with in this country, she is using this to gain sympathy. So already white is right. Who said that? What doesn't even make any sense. I mean, I've checked out the racial de demographics of the township. It's a, lot of, it's a little bit of everybody there. I'm checking out the Thornton Township uh, racial um, demographics and I'm looking at race and 65% uh, is black, but it's 14% four, is white. And then 16% is Hispanic. But she made it seem like there's some white majority out there trying to sabotage the mayor because they don't want a black leader. Who does it? It's 65% black. What are you talking about? I have no idea. So why is she only talking about white versus black? This is her to try to gain some sympathy, trying to get someone to believe in her nonsense. Keep that on hush, but nobody will say nothing. But I did, but nobody in the media will say anything. And I hope you're recording it on Lancet Journal and putting it in your face because I'm still telling that story. So now that I created a um, Tiffany on the Move podcast to tell my story, since don't nobody want to pick it up and I'm being attacked by the media left or right, I am telling y'all my story. Okay, you took the story down. Uh, no one could find it. I have it. You put it out, it bombed. People found it to be the most cringed crap ever and someone told you to take it down so is she going to be transparent and let us know why you took that episode down was it your lawyers realizing that you just basically digging yourself a deeper hole by all the things you said all the slander that you were throwing out towards business owners people who are trying to help the community is down so i don't know why she's referring to something that's not even up i mean i am i am eagerly awaiting the second uh video because i know it's going to be just as terrible as the first one but we talking about and also, if you have evidence that the previous administration was stealing, bring it out. Show it. Transparency. Show the books. All right, where's the evidence? This is a minute and 35 second clip. I doubt that you're going to talk about that. So when are you going to talk about that situation? Even though I know it's just a deflection, you're just trying to distract people for all the issues that you are dealing with. And truth will be heard on the podcast because no one wants the truth to come out of what they did before me. But while I took office, when I took office, we've done a great job. We have got allocated over $15 million, but nobody wrote about that, right? Nobody else went and got that more, more money than me in the board here. We got $1 million to help the at-risk youth. We put them all back to work. We also gave out 80 scholarships up to $2,500. People have graduated and got jobs and will be working here at the township when they get out of school. But no one's telling you all the good things we do. Everybody want to make it like we're bad when they were bad. They were, they were bad. She wasn't bad. They were bad. Where's the evidence of this? You're, you're now throwing accusations out with no proof. Okay, let us know what happened. And again, show your books. Show what you have been doing wrong. That's important. Was the one that had it before me and did nothing with it. Why was the number so low? Why wasn't they feeding people in the food pantry, but they were spending the money out of the food pantry, but wasn't feeding the people, right? But these all the facts and things that I'm going to put out there just to lay the groundwork so people can know. 
Yeah, you look at this this homeboy over here, this guy right right underneath my head. You could <laughs> you just look at him. He's like, I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe White is right, and he's right there in front. He's like, Are you serious right now? This is the super mayor, right? Supervisor, the mayor, bringing people together. Like she says, she brings people together. What to look for? Do not follow people because they so negative. Because misery need company. That's what they need. So don't hang with people that ain't actually growing the community. Go talk to people that want to uplift the black and brown communities, the ones that's neglected. I okay, so you see right there, textbook political division, trying to use race to maintain power. So let's just have an example here. Let's talk about being a parent and if you have a kid. If your child cleaned their room really well one day, but for the rest of the week, they left toys all over the place. They didn't do their chores. They forgot to take out the trash. And when you get on them and say, what's going on? You didn't do your chores? You didn't take care of the toys? What's going on? You've got to take out the trash? But then they respond by saying, well, hey, look how clean my room was that one day. It's like, that's great, but what happened about all the other days where things weren't so good and you haven't done the things you were supposed to do. It's very similar to this politician. Is it possible she may have done some good things? I guess so. A broken clock is right twice a day. So that's like the day that you clean that room, but there's other problems happening all the time and people are going to talk about it too. It's not like the good stuff doesn't matter, it does. It, but it doesn't make the other issues disappear. It doesn't allow someone to spend the money the way they want to spend it because they've done something right one time. There's a lot of negative news about this mayor and this supervisor. It's often because people are concerned and is upset of what's happening. It's like if your neighbors kept seeing your yard. If the neighbors kept seeing trash all over your yard and trash piling up, they might start talking about that more than that one day your yard looked nice. So leaders like everyone else need to start working on solving problems, not just doing one good thing and hoping that it makes everything else okay. It's important to keep trying to do better every day, not just once in a while. No one thinks that you're doing well. That's why you lost that tax referendum uh, last week. And we'll be talking about that right now. And as it relates to the referendum question, um, the thing that the gentleman spoke about, it's a shame that people are so brainwashed, hoodwinked, and led astray that they will sit here and say, oh, I'm glad we voted down. That's a shame. I feel bad for you. You should be ashamed that you are sitting here commending something that we need for our black and brown communities. Again, she's using race. They didn't vote for it because they don't trust you with the money. It's not about they think that mental health isn't a problem or needs to be addressed. It's they don't trust you with the money because there's a history of you spending irresponsibly. It's not about the mental health issue. It's about you being terrible with the money. I made a video about the Kirby Rehabilitation Center that came to help and they couldn't get their property put together because of sewage and supervisor Tiffany Hanyard did not fix the issue and they left. And they were going to provide all of those services for free. She had the ability to fix that situation and she didn't. Now she's turning this around on a, a, a racial thing by saying no to this referendum. It's people are being brainwashed and who wink. They're attacking black and brown people. It's nonsense. When you guys come here to Thorn Township, you ask me to help you with mental illness. We still have that. I don't care what nobody told y'all. It still exists here at Thorn Township. You can tell she's pretty mad about what happened last week. That was a big blow. It shows that whatever goodwill she had is pissed away and people are now realizing that she needs to go. Just because certain people that weren't doing their job or that were just sitting here, what they call ghost payroll, don't work here no longer, does not mean we do not offer those services to Thor Township residents. We do. Prime example, case and stuff. We had an incident with Calumet City, the Chargers, the football team. They went to a game. A whole shooting happened right in front of our kids' eyes. Guess who they called? It wasn't the mayor. It wasn't any of the mayors, for that matter, that signed that letter saying don't vote for mental illness. They called who? Supervisor Tiffany Henry. And she is such an egomaniac. She don't really care about anybody but herself. See, she needs to let everyone know the things that she does, right? I'm the hero. I'm your savior. I'm Martin Luther King. I am all those things. Now she's talking about brainwash and hoodwink. She thinks she's Malcolm X. She's the savior of the township. She's the savior of Dalton. You can tell it through this uh, egomaniac um, speech here. And guess what I did? I pulled up, showed up, and showed out. I made sure everybody got therapy. Every single kid to this day still get therapy. Isn't that supposed to be your job anyway? It's, it's, it's kind of that, that joke with Chris Rock. I take care of my kids like you're supposed to. Like you, you did your job. Cool. That's what everyone wants you to do, your job. Not spend thousands of dollars on trips, not to spend 
hundreds of dollars on a stupid golden chair. They want you to do your job. Yes, and you could be proud of it, but it's your job. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. But y'all don't talk about this stuff. Y'all let people just tell y'all y'all stuff and let y'all go and just run with it. Stop. I'm tired of my people being misled and getting up there acting a fool and got no facts on what you're talking about. So There's so much facts. I don't know what she's talking about. Right now, when she does these rants, she does not provide any evidence, nothing of, of any sort to, she has yet to show anything. All she does is get in these little rants, gets all upset. She knows things are going wrong. She, she knows that the walls are closing in. And this is what she does. So I wish people would actually come and learn it for themselves of what's going on at the township and not let people feed you poison so that you attack the people that's really for you. I am really for my community. They mad because they can't stop me. They mad because they can't compete with me. That's why they did the smear campaign. But don't worry because every dog out there day. But I'm going to point it out and I'm going to let you know all the people behind all the mess and all the people that have been stealing at this township since day one. I'll say it again. Distraction, deflection, smoke screen. Basically saying, don't look at me. These other people are stealing. If you know that there's other people stealing, expose it. But also, you're going to get exposed because a lot of people believe that you are a thief. So let's expose all of the thieves. Instead of you trying to make it seem like you don't do anything and everyone else is doing the bad stuff, we don't believe that. I think that's nonsense. But let's expose everybody because you're not going to be able to distract and get away with this by blaming others for whatever the hell they did. We wanna know what you did. But they mad because they not here no longer. So this is what it's all about, guys. They don't want a black person in power. They don't want go. a woman in power. You know, if you ain't seen that yet. And someone so young, everybody gotta understand. God she is not young. We're around the same age. I'll be 40 this year. We're 40. Tiffany, you're not young. You need to stop calling yourself young. You are old like I am. Stop it. Like you say, stop it, stop it. God give you what you can handle. That's what God gave you. He ain't gonna give you more than that. As long as you can stay, stay the course, fight the fight, and keep going, that's what we're gonna do here at Thornton Township. And we've been doing a doggone good job. As you can see, Tiffany Hanyard is using race to create political division. It's not good because it just doesn't make any sense. And you're making people feel like they don't belong. Even though you say you're bringing everybody to, together. How's that possible? When leaders talk about race in, in a way that separates us, it could just lead to bigger problems. But she's sitting next to a bunch of white people too. It's important for everyone to get along and understand each other, no matter what they look like. Now, the problem is this politician who's in trouble is pointing fingers at everybody else. So imagine if you did something wrong, like taking a cookie when you weren't supposed to, and then you tell your mom, your brother did it. That's not cool, right? This is the same with her. But you know what? There's some other people doing bad too. And I'm gonna talk about that instead, instead of the stuff I'm doing. She should just be honest about what's going on, but she won't. Transparency is important, but she doesn't care about that. What she wants to do is just blame someone else. And especially using race. There's many people, white and black, who are tired of Tiffany Hanger's nonsense. This doesn't solve anything, and it just makes people more upset. When leaders like her use race to distract from their own problems, they are trying to make people look the other way so they don't get caught. It's important for leaders to be honest and fix their mistakes, not blame others or use tricks to divide people. We need to all work together like a team to make things better for everybody. So this is just more nonsense coming from the super mayor. Um, she's desperate. She's going to use whatever it takes to stay her, to keep herself in power, whether it's going to be using herself, identifying herself, obviously being black, being a woman, whatever it takes for her to win, she will do. She's not going to quit. She's going to have to be either arrested or voted out. So that's the decision of the township, obviously, and the decision of Dalton. But what you guys think about these two clips, I'll leave the links of these clips in the description below. Thank you for taking time to watch this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.